Hey guys, this is another Pokemon White and Black tutorial. This is my third one. The first one was on how to get huge experience. The second one was on how to get a little bit of money and a little bit of experience at the same time. And this third one is strictly money. How to get big money real quickly. So to do this, um, you can actually be anywhere from level 25 and up. I'm going to show you if you're level uh, 45 plus uh, this is where you're going to start. If you're level 25, um, I'll show you halfway through the video uh, where you're going to start. Um, but Oplucid City is where you're going to need to be or have access to um, Lacanosa Town. Either or will work. And from here, from Oplucid City, we're going to take a right. And your city might look different than mine. Um, depending on if how far you are in the game. Uh, mine has been frozen over and as well if you have Pokemon black instead of white you might uh, it might look a little bit different as well. So we're going to the right of Oplucid City um, just over here and I have a super repel on um, just so you know and that's so I don't get in any random battles. Now, this area you're going to need Surf, Waterfall, and Fly to do the routine that I'm showing you. If you don't have access to those abilities yet, or if you're simply just low level, I will show you again in a little bit exactly where you're going to start. But for now, this is where you need to be. This is Route 11, just to the right of Oplucid City. And from here, what we are going to do is we are going to warp to the interlink just like this okay so we go to the interlink and we're gonna do a fun fest mission here now it's critical that you um, start right where I stopped there on screen because there's going to be an item right beside you when you start. So what we're going to do is we're going to do Mushroom Hide and Seek here. If you're playing by yourself, you're going to want level 1, because that's all you're going to be able to do. Um, especially if you're low level, you're only going to be able to do level 1. If, you have, if you're higher level and you're playing with someone else, you can do level 2. And if you have like 5 plus people, you can do level 3. And... Um, each level you're going to make huge cash. So the reason why we're doing this is because for this FunFest mission, you're getting rewarded with big mushrooms and you can sell big mushrooms to a maniac for 5,000 a piece. In the single player, level one, you're going to get seven big mushrooms the way I show it to you. If you're low level, you're only going to get five, but that's still plenty. And if you're playing uh, level 2 with one other person, you're going to get 16 big mushrooms every 5 minutes. And if you're playing with 5 plus people on level 3, which I've never done, I'm assuming you're going to get more like 30 plus big mushrooms, which is just ridiculous. Um, if you do this, in 15 minutes you can get 100,000. Um, 100,000 cash in 15 minutes by doing this. So here we go. I'm going to start it and show you my routine. Once again, uh, this starting position is for higher level players. And I'll show you exactly what you have to do if you're lower level. So we're looking for these um, Pokeballs. And there's one right beside me. That's why I'm starting at this location. And one of the keys here is you want a Pokemon that goes first. So you want something that's fast. You want something that's super effective against grass, so you can one-shot these guys. And the third thing you want is something that has a quick attack animation, so that you're not sitting here waiting for five minutes uh, for your animation cycle to go through before the Pokemon dies. I know five minutes is an exaggeration, but um, every second counts in these timed missions. I usually finish my routine with 10 to 15 seconds left so you you need to be fast so there's two right in this area and that's why I start right here 
And immediately from here, I'm going to fly and get out of here and fly to the next area. Fly. And we're going to go to Driftville. Now, if you're level 25 or so, Driftville is actually where you're going to start. You're not going to start where I showed you. Most likely because you won't have access to where I showed you if you're only level 25. And we're going to go north and to the left. Now I'm going to surf across this water and the only reason why I'm surfing across, you can run around it. But if you run around, there is a trainer, a repeat trainer over there that will more often uh, see you than not. And you'll have to do a two minute battle against her. So you're going to want to start right beside this mushroom here if you're doing just the level 25 um, if you're only level 25 you're gonna start right exactly beside this mushroom or just on the on the bridge obviously you don't want to be standing exactly where where the mushroom is otherwise it won't appear you're gonna want to be standing like right here or something and that was one and the second one is right here and I'm gonna get off my bike because apparently I can't move one square to fight the second mushroom and there's a third one right beside this and if you remember the the mission only asked us to to fight three of these things fight and kill three mushrooms so that's all you need to do if you're level 25 you just need to be in this one area you need to battle these three mushrooms and you're done if you're a higher level and you're trying to get the level 2 fun fast mission where you need 10 mushrooms then you need to be going elsewhere or you need lots of people with you in order to collect that many mushrooms again you get like d more than double the amount of mushrooms if you do level 2 which is going to give you even way more money which is awesome And last area we're going to fly to is Lacanosa Town or something like that. I can't remember. I'm so bad with these town names. And from here we're going to go right. And out of the city and up through here and through the cave to the right of the cave and you're going to hope that you don't hit any dust clouds here make sure you keep your repel on so you don't get any random battles and out this door off my bicycle because I can't get out the door and I'm actually going to keep it off so I have 58 seconds left I have to battle this one and then there's one more just down the way and this is going to give you seven kills seven big mushrooms sell for five thousand apiece that is thirty five thousand in five minutes if you're playing with two players you get sixteen or more and this is the last one right here with twenty one seconds left and after the battle's over, I'm sure the time will just be up. Normally I'm a little bit faster than that. And after this battle's over, I actually have about 10 to 15 seconds left. But regardless, as long as you're in the battle, by before the time runs out, the battle counts. As far as I know. And time is up. So let's see. Objective 3, total 7, mission accomplished, 5 big mushrooms, plus a bonus 2, right there, gives me 7 big mushrooms. Now just as a um, an additional added bonus, while you're here, you can actually run over. Uh, Repel ran out, I don't need it anymore. This guy right here is actually a repeat trainer. You can battle him for extra experience, extra money while you're here anyways. So that's it for this run. All I'm going to show you now is um, where to go to sell these mushrooms for 5000 if you don't know. 
So we are flying to Nimbasa. Flying to Nimbasa. And once you're in Nimbasa, you're going to go north and then to the left, just outside the city. And right as we exit the city here, there is a camper. And inside this camper is a cook who likes big mushrooms. She gets you to open your bag. And you select, uh, I must have had some big mushrooms on me somewhere. Where are they? Big pearls, big mushroom. So as you can see, I have 15 big mushrooms. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to read this. So she'll give me 5,000 for that big mushroom. The only problem is you have to give these mushrooms to her one at a time. You can't just select all 15. So it's a bit of a process to sell the mushrooms to her, but um, that's not it's worth it for the 5,000 that you're getting. So uh, at seven every five minutes, you're getting 35,000 every five minutes. In a two player game, you're getting 16 every five minutes, which is what? Um, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80,000 every five minutes. Minus the, I guess it takes time to sell these as well. But that's it guys, um, just keep doing that mission over and over. The mushrooms will just keep appearing, just keep doing that routine, collecting mushrooms and selling them for huge cash. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you got something out of it. And if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and share it with friends and family who play the game. Have a good one guys, and I'll talk to you later.